How about Jacksonville? They seems like they've been in London for the last month. I'm sure they all <laughs> wish it was a month. But Doug Peterson, Lombo, um, that effort last week against Chicago, I mean, they look they look lifeless. And I can't see and I going into this game against New England, they're five and a half point favorites. I don't know, maybe because, you know, they're starting a rookie quarterback that looked pretty damn good. Drake made of me. Yeah. Had some great bright you know, bright spots. But you know, if things don't go uh, as planned and they lose this game, Lombo, will will Shad Khan, will that that organization, this owner, will they move on from from Doug? Well, I think look, they, they, they just, you saw yesterday they ran, they showed pictures of their new stadium and how beautiful it looks and the whole facility in Jacksonville. You know, the, the owner has to sell tickets and put people in there. He's got to sell suites. He's got to sell. Uh, the luxury sit- seats and all that stuff. You're not going to do that if your team's bad. He's going to have to make a move. Now, I know he gave Trent Balky and he gave Doug a, a, a vote of confidence, but that's always like a kiss of death. Yeah. That vote of confidence was reflective of how they played against the Bears. It was really bad. Their players came out and said so they quit. Some of the players did. Doug said, we got to change the culture. I don't know how you change the culture when you're that far away. You know, why didn't you change the culture well, before been, the season He's been started? there, Lombo. Yes. How long has he I been know, there? They're paying a quarterback I, I don't know 50 why some million. Say that. So he's going to say, like, okay, this one, I, this one, I, this culture I built stinks. We're going to change it all of a sudden. <laughs> well, also, he's <laughs> paid the quarterback. In London. Yeah. Anytime. Oh, hey, Chuck, ahead, I'm sorry, you, Lombo. you know this. If he would have lost that game, if he loses this game and Al Davis were the owner, he would not be on the plane flight. No, I'll no. Back to <laughs> taking he a boat, we're taking the Titanic back. <laughs> <laughs> There's an iceberg coming. Yeah. There's Look an out. iceberg coming. <laughs> Doug Peterson looks like he lost his soul, though. You yeah. know, like Bummer. it's like it's like the Coach Sala stuff over there in, in New York. Yeah. We're well, watching it I all in photo. Go ahead. The, the owner said this summer. The owner said this is the best team we've ever had. Yeah. When an owner says that, the expectations go way up. And then when you you win one game, right, and you start the season, you have a chance to beat Miami in the opening game and you don't score any points in the second half, and then the season goes that way, and then you go and embarrass yourself on your really your home field over there in, in London. That's where you play. To me, it's it's a horrible message. And so, you know, who's going to get blamed for it? The coach. I mean, you can't fire all the players. The coach is going to get and they're going to have to bring somebody in. I mean, this is actually – this year looks worse than the Urban Meyer years looked. Ooh. How about Trevor – I mean, Whoa. I, don't, I don't want to keep piling on Trevor, okay? I don't want to keep piling on Trevor because he's making 50-plus million dollars mm-hmm. a year. Mm-hmm. And we're watching You can't it. get rid of him, though, Pat. See, that's the thing. Everybody's focused on we got to make Trevor better. How about making the team better? That's the biggest problem with Jackson. Let's make the team better. Like, they want to hire somebody to make the Trevor better. That's what you're going to hear if they fire Doug. Well, we got to bring somebody to make Trevor better. No, no, no. How about making the team better first? How about hiring somebody who can fix the team? How about hiring somebody who can put a culture in place? How about hiring somebody who's going to make the players work hard? Like, that's the They're key. They're chief football strategist. He knows. He's got it figured out. He knows, sure. He's got it figured out. Who's that, Tony? Tony, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tony come on. Tony, come Good energy. I like him. Yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. Chief right. football strategist, though, is a very aggressive title, especially if the team doesn't do good in football. Yeah. You know, that's like a uh, – that's a tough thing. But I got faith. I like the Cotton family and what they've done down in Jacksonville. They have – they have legitimately tried. It feels exactly. like they would like that place to really do well. But, Pat, it's the same thing that, that they have. They're great. They spend money, too. And you go through their free agent spending. They always sign a guy, and two years later, they cut him. They've done everything. The problem is they've hired the wrong th- the wrong people. They just haven't built a culture-based organization. They just haven't. The last coach that won there was Marone when they hired him off the interim. They're one play away from going to the Super Bowl. Blake Bortles overthrows that seven round up in New England, or else they're going to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, they're close, but they haven't been back. I mean, they're one of the losingest franchise. So at some point, you have to say to yourself, why? And a lot of it is because of, of how we're hiring and what we're doing. It's challenging. It really is. You got to elect it. You got to hire somebody who can build a program. They've been able to beat the Colts. Yeah, you know, there's just 16 yeah. other games that they got to play every single time. And uh, the Colts in Jacksonville, obviously, a big problem for them. But I would like to see Jacksonville do well. I would like to see it. But it appears as if that's not the case. And Doug Peterson, I'll be excited to see what his status is one week from today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, that's a tough one. Drake mm-hmm. May coming in his second ever starter. We'll know before a week. Yeah. Won't even, you won't even need a week. Four, three days. Yeah, look out. Four days, I guess. <laughs> when the when the Pats hang 50 on them. 
Drake May since Yo. every rookie single game passing record you've ever heard. In the history of England or just in the, in the history of ball, brother? Oh, history of ball? <laughs> yeah, he's throwing five tuds. Coach Saban said in the history of ball. of ball at dinner the other day, and I died. I, I mean, I forget what it was about. I was like, the history of ball? He goes, all ball. History. <laughs> yeah. In the, I think he said worst situation <laughs> in the history of ball. All ball. And I like, I started dying. I just started dying laughing. So hearing you say in the history of ball, that's a big statement. You're saying Drake May's about to do that to this Jacksonville he, team? He's about to go bananas. Doug Peterson's going to look so bummed out. Oh, I know. Man. And I, I'm bummed out about that. Salah, bummed out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doug Peterson seemingly yep. bombed out. Stefanski bombed bombed out. Shane Steichen's up there answering questions about his quarterback here after a win in Tennessee. He seems to be a little bit he's kind of bombed out. But I think he's uh, you, you he's, could add Jerry Jones to the oh, bombed out. Oh, he's, oh, he's mad bummed. and yeah. bombed out. Yeah. Bummed out too. Yeah, when Madden and bombed out come together, you can get a little. I'll fucking fire you. Yeah. <laughs> that's hey, that's when. I ain't kidding. I'll be mad and disappointed at the same damn time, taking time out of my life to talk to you. Mm. I'll fire both of you. <laughs> I didn't mean exactly what I said. <laughs> I got a little hot and bothered. I, you know how that thing goes. 